All right, all right, all right. How are we doing? Kenny B here from Season Suburbs. Thank you for checking out the video or the channel. Please like and subscribe if you will. Um, today is Father's Day in the United States. It is the 16th of June. Happy Father's Day to all those guys out there, man. It's a lot to raise a family. I, I just let me jump into that because the grocery prices are crazy. Aren't they? They're crazy. I mean, we're seeing a little little uh, uh, dip at the pump, if you will, but that's maybe the summer blend. But groceries from January 2023 to January 2024, I just pulled this up off the web and you guys if you want to do some back finding please go ahead uh, but they're 2.6 uh, percent grocery prices up from uh, a year ago and um, let me see if I could find that a little bit just to quantify that a little bit because um, it looks like <laughs> all food costs are up 2.6 percent um, food at home is up 1.2 percent now you can break this down However you want. This is from USA Today. But uh, meat and fish and poultry, you can go right down the line. But it doesn't matter. When you go out and uh, it's a deal now to get a really small seafood platter, right, for $25. It's, it's, it's really ridiculous, you know. And what's setting it, of course, you know, we create about 173, 174, 200,000 jobs a month, you know. The, the, that's what the labor, the, the Department of, uh, you know, labor says, but uh, it, it's just, there's this gap, there's this, and I, I can't figure it out, but it's expensive right now to live, even though there's plenty of jobs, right? <clears throat> anyway, so uh, Tom Brady the other day on Thursday night, oh my God, <clears throat> same night as the, I think it was the same night as the Celtics, here in, uh, in uh, well, Celtics were in Dallas, where they got a major ass whooping, by the way, by 38 points, and uh, 122 to 84, and uh, I, I, you know, I was watching the game, and I just said, what, who is, the, who is, is this, the, are these the Boston Celtics? I'm like, it almost looked like an intentional tank, I'm not going to go on record and say it was, but it just looked like what? You know, do you guys really want to win this in Boston? Maybe you do, and cool. All right, whatever. You know, we don't expect what well, we do in Boston. We expect, you know, us to, the Red Sox, the Celtics, the, you know, the Bruins, and the, uh, you know, the Patriots to just roll over everybody and win it every year. And John Henry was called out last month, actually, in the, uh, in the papers saying that, you know, you know, Boston fans want a, a championship every year. Every city wants a championship every year, right? Um, New York, you know, your really competitive cities, of course they do, right? And that's where you get really hardened fans. But at the end of the day, um, these guys are professional athletes. They'll figure it out. Of course, mathematically, I think that the Celtics have the advantage coming back to Boston uh, tomorrow night on Monday. And yeah, thanks for doing that on Monday. By the way, 8.30. Anyway, uh, hockey, Panthers, Orioles, uh, the Panthers, Florida Panthers, and the Edmonton Oilers. I always said kind of the 84, um, the 84 uh, Stanley Cup championship with the Edmonton Oilers and the Boston Bruins at the old Boston Garden where the, <laughs> the air conditioning went off. It was sweltering building. It's nothing like... It. You folks experience today when you go to the TD Garden, but uh, we got spanked. I think it was in, uh, yeah, that, that was 84, 80, I forget when we were 88. Um, so I, I was never a fan of the Oilers, but, and and I was never a fan of anything Florida for sports, by the way. I'm sorry to turn this into Ken's sports show, but 
you know, cities and suburbs, they're everywhere, right? Um, and uh, I, I, trust me, hold on, I got something coming up. So, um, <laughs> and uh, so the uh, Panthers are up 3 1 on the Edmonton Oilers. Who cares? Who's watching? I mean, I'm watching arena football. I watch more arena football than I do, I'm sorry, playoff hockey, which hockey doesn't have that reach. Football has that reach. It has that, yeah, even baseball to some extent. But football, you can get behind a team. If you're from California and you know the quarterback from California that now is playing for the Cincinnati Bengals, you're a Bengals fan automatically, right? So, um Anyway, so I just, really quick, uh, this is, um, uh, <clears throat> okay, the Kamenites. Remember the Kamenites from the Twilight Zone? You know, they landed on the planet and they were going to make everything beautiful. All right, here we go. Brady, Brady, Brady. I'm joking. And a lot of people watching this video would not know my reference to that, but the saviors, <laughs> the Kamenites, you know, and uh, it's not, Tom Brady's not a cannibal. Look it up, Twilight Zone, the Kamenites. But it was that that reception for, for Tom Brady. He was... Um, nominated and inducted into the Hall of Fame of the Patriots. They had the jacket out there. They had, oh my God, there must, the, the fan, there were more fans in those seats in Foxborough, okay, than any game Mac Jones played in. I'm sorry. Um, and he's just a person. Some people say, well, you know, it's a little overdone. Or, yeah, it's overdone. But, you know, 50 years from now, um, we don't remember, um, I mean, Babe Ruth when he retired, and Lou Gehrig gave the big speech, you know, when he retired, obviously, from ALS. And, um, but you don't remember those moments. You know? I mean, your place in sports um, are really statistics, right? And you end up in the Hall of Fame because of statistics. So this was very... Uh, even though, yeah, <laughs> I don't think they gave Joe Montana a send off like that. I don't think they. I don't. I. I can't remember this in my lifetime, but uh, I guess it was kind of classy, a little overboard, pumps up the NFL a little bit. I get it, you know. But uh, anyway, so I just wanted to. <laughs> I mean, eighty thousand people in the stands, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Now he tells everybody to shut up and sit down. I love this. All right, everyone. Sit down. Sit down, man. And 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 that's why, you know, Tom Brady, was he the greatest quarterback ever? Was he the best athlete ever? No. Not at all. He had a, a commitment from the organization behind him. Um... And he knew how to lead people. That is what you need. You need to help the other person get their job done. Not questioning you with your decision making. You go there, run, run that route, and the ball will be there. Just do it. Okay? It's kind of like watching Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. I mean, I mean right? It all comes out in the end. And uh, there were some wins and, and losses with, with Brady. I mean, we had the, we had the great 2007 Randy Moss was, you know, let's, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, we went 18-1 and one that year. And, uh, you know, kind of like what Billy Bean said or Brad Pitt said in Moneyball, you know, people don't remember streaks. They remember victories. I get it. But in Patriots Nation, I tell you, uh, uh, I'm kind of a... Um, a guy here that's been around a while, and uh, we sat in, a, in the back of the line a long time, right? And uh, and 
all and, and two, all respects to Drew Bledsoe. Uh, he was a great he he's a great arm. He was a great arm. Uh, and uh, unfortunate pattern with the Patriots. They be, they they get into this area of dysfunction where they have to reset themselves. This is the longest reset I've seen, but from 1961 to the 80s, uh, to the 90s, I mean, they were really not a good franchise, and they were ready to go over to St. Louis and become the Mustangs. So anyway, uh, Kenny B signing out. Listen, City Council in Worcester has not met uh, for two weeks and they're being called out for, why aren't we meeting so much? Notice I haven't talked about Mill Street tonight, but I drove down Mill Street. It is stupid, okay? Cell phones in schools, what do you guys think? Worcester School says no cell phones. I agree, I agree, I'm with them. And uh, boy, another brewery being built on a vacant lot downtown. So um, anyway, guys, can you be here signing out? And uh, thanks for tuning in. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah.